Mario, as promised, I will show you in regards to this is Windows XP how you go in and delete temporary files and to make sure that you get rid of everything that could have an influence on how your computer runs and in regards to issues like cookies, like worms. So the first thing you have to do is that you go down to start. You go into the control panel. In the control panel you go up to call the folder option. And under the folder option you can see here you have general view, file types and offline files. And what I need is that I go into view. So the tap view. And I find over here headlines here that I have to cross off. You can see here it says hidden files and folders do not show hidden files and folders and I want it to do that so I will say show hidden files and folders. Then it says hide extensions for known file types. I said no I want to see what kind of files I'm, I'm dealing with. Also hide protected operation system files recommended. I take that off. And then of course I know what the what I go into so I just say yes and these are the three points so here hidden files and folders show hidden files and folders I say yes then in regards to hide extensions I say no I want to see them and in regards to hide protected operation system file I want to see them so these two are not crossed off and show hidden files is crossed off and then I say apply and then I say OK. Now I can go up here and press folders. And when I go into my computer now, and I go into the C drive or the local drive, I assume that you have the same uh, drive C, like Charlie. Then I go into what's called documents and settings. I have seen that sometimes where it says users, but here is documents and settings. And then you come into users like administrator, all users, default users, and so on. In this regard, there is no other users than the administrator. So if I click on plus here, that's perfect. And then when I go underneath here, I can go into local settings. And under local settings, I have my history, my temp file, and my temporary internet files. And if I hadn't turned off or turned on so that I could see, see these hidden directories, then many of them you can't see. So again, here you go under the local drive C, under the documents and settings, under local settings, and in here I have history and temp file. And if I go in here and press the plus sign to expand the folder so I can see what's in it, you can see there is tremendously of debris, as we call it, or garbage. And all this has to be deleted. Even that you go in many times and want to delete everything, then many times it leaves all this debris behind. And you can see here also in regards to history and history today, in this regard, I just run the cleanup and it took all the history out. That's perfect. But in regards to the temp file, it left all this here. And what you do is that you simply go in, and what I do is to take small chunks, because I know that these are temp files. There shouldn't be anything in here. So what I do is that I just highlight them, and then I go in and say, delete. And then I say yes, and say yes to all. And then I take a few more, it could be some of the folders, go in and say delete and this is what you have to do now you have to go through these folders called history temp file and temporary internet file if you go in here there's a lot of debris in here also that you have to delete and you can see here there's tremendously and many times when you have virus or, or issues these are hidden in here and even that you clean up your stuff that doesn't mean that everything goes. And, and I hope you know where you can clean it up. If you go back again to start, you go into the control panel, and you go into the internet option, you have an option in there where it says that you can clean up. 
browse history, delete, yeah? And uh, so you can go in here and say delete, and then you can see here temporary internet file, cookies, and so on. But in regards to temporary files of your operation system, there sometimes you have to help out, and that's the way you do it. So very quickly, what is it I have to do first? I go into folder, the folder option. I go in on the view. I go in and cross them off so I can see show hidden files folder, hidden extension. I make so that we don't hide the extension, we don't hide the protect operation system files. And when I'm finished, I go back and put all this back again so nothing happens. But at least in the, t in the moment where I have to delete this, I open for all this. And then I just go up to folders. I go under the local drive. I find the documents and settings. And in here, I find the user we're talking about. And if we have multiple users on that machine, we have to go in and empty for each user. And then when we go in and say local settings, you can see here, here you have the files that needed to be deleted. I hope all this will help you. And I hope that the operation system that you have is XP. So good luck.